All right, hello football gamers. Welcome back to Madden Football Gaming. Today we got released into the game new rookie premieres and new golden tickets. That Michael Vick looks sick. That guy looks super, super good. Um, the only thing down about it is the weight, and his weight is really not that bad. I think he's like 220 or something like that. So it's really not that bad. Um, but he's just not 247, right? Or 300 pounds like William Perry or something like that. So, but everything else looks super, super good. He's got some really nice abilities that you could put on him for cheap. Um, looks like a really good running back. So that would be great to pull. Lamar Jackson obviously looks good. It's just there's a release is a little bit slower, but overall he looks really, really good too. So we're going to go ahead and open some training variety packs, but we're also going to be talking about Rookie Premier. Rookie Premier just came out, so I want to talk about it a little bit while we're um, opening some of these packs until we start cutting out and just showing you a big pull. So a couple things I want to talk about here. First, um, you get can get a total of 15 tokens, okay? So one of them you can get through completing um, the challenges. The other one you can get by getting to level 30. And then the rest of them you do, you get by completing sets. You don't have to complete all 32 sets. Um, you only have to complete 15. You'll get 13 different um, tokens. So you get the tokens for completing the sets. You get the tokens for reaching level 30. And you get the tokens for completing the challenges. So that's how you get all of those. And then you can use those tokens next year to, to really build your team and select your players. And there's a breakout on that. And you can go look at it if you want to. But that's what you want to do. Now... What you don't want to do is go out and start buying like the Sugar Rush to complete those sets or things like that. That's probably not a good idea. Those Sugar Rush 96s are selling for like 300k right now and you can only do it twice. So you have to do two 96s um, and you can do it twice for a total of four. So it's 1.2 million coins that it would take you to get a total of 14 93s back. Okay. You can buy every single pack, all 20 of those uh, Rookie Premier packs at 60K each for 1.2 million, and you get 20 of those 93s back, plus everything else in the rest of those 20 packs. So I don't suggest you do the Sugar Rush right now. Save your coins, don't buy those players, and wait, tomorrow's Ultimate Legends, right? And in those Ultimate Legends packs, um, a lot of the times in the second round, and sometimes even the first round, you see Sugar Rush players at a pretty decent clip, right? Like if you've been opening them at all, you've seen them come out at a pretty decent clip. So tomorrow, those Sugar Rush um, players should come out and the prices should drop. So definitely don't do that today. Also, when you buy these players, you can fill any holes on your team that you need to. You know, if you have a theme team, you want to add one of your players, totally fine. But you don't need to keep those players. So you can either sell them or you can quick sell them, uh, kind of whatever you want to do. Issue right now is that so many people are selling them that they're, they are like quick sell value, right? They are the, the epitome bottom of the market for a 99. So it makes more sense to quick sell them and try and roll that training into something else. So you can either you know, do the other um, offers in the store. Like as you can see right here, you don't have to do just this training variety pack. You can do rising stars or heavyweights or flashbacks or veterans or something like that. You can try and do that if you like to and sell those and try and make some coins there. Um, or you can roll this, try and get some of the new GTs and try and uh, make your coins there. But right now that's a better move than just straight up selling them because you're selling them for beneath the value of the market, the rest of the value of the market, right? So um, it makes more sense to me to roll them into here and try and get some coins and then sell them that way. You could also, um, if you really wanted to, you can snipe the 93s. I think that's, a, if you have the coins for it, it's a better idea. So right now, if you were to go to the to the market, nice, nice rare item. If you're going to, to the auction house and you were to just say, hey, Madden 23 rookie premieres for 93. It'll probably be around 50K, 53K, right? Um, that's what I saw when I did it a little bit earlier. But if you filter down by position, if you filter down to QB, to middle linebacker, to wide receiver, you'll get them in the high 30s. At least I did, again, a couple, min uh, a couple minutes ago. That's a better way than one, the sugar rush, or two, the packs. If you just want the, uh, if you just want the item, that's the best way to do it, the cheapest way to do it. Um, you need 10 of them, obviously, to go and do a set. So you're still talking about 400,000 coins to complete one set, but it's the cheapest way to do it right now. I expect that tomorrow, 
when more people log on, it's probably going to be even lower. It could be the same, but it, I, I think when more people log on, it may be even lower. So if you want to make some coins or build them cheaply, probably the best way to do it is probably to snipe those, throw them into sets, uh, get your player, um, and get your token. And then you can either quick sell your player for training or you can sell them for coins, whatever you want to do there, um, and then start the process again. But if you want to make some coins in the future, what I do suggest is snipe and repost, right? It doesn't make a lot of sense. I get it. But there's so many of these rookie premieres that are hitting the auction house that when, when somebody goes in to complete the set or when someone just filters without filtering down to position, they see a higher price. So you can sell it for, you know, if you pick it up for 39, you could sell it for 53 and you're making decent coin off that, right? You're making 10K, over 10K on that, um, depending on what the uh, what you pick it up for and what you sell it for. Around that, you're, you're making good coins. So you can do that and make some coins um, and, uh, and go that way as well. If you're trying to just roll and try and get some of these golden tickets, the best players to pick up are those 99 rookie premieres. Put it into training and roll it into here and try and make some coins that way too. So a couple different methods you can use to make some coins off these rookie premieres, hopefully to help you complete the sets. But then after you're done completing the sets, um, really just uh, um, help you make some coins and finish out the year and get the players that you want. So anyways, I hope this helps you out. I want to talk a little bit about it. Um, hopefully I didn't ramble too much and I made some sense to you all so you kind of know what to look out for and not to waste your coins on Sugar Rush and stuff like that right now and kind of how to complete the sets and maybe what to do with your players if you don't want to keep them, right? If you want to keep them, great. There, there, there's some really good players out there. Um, but if you don't want to keep them, right now the move is probably to quick sell them for training. In the future, the price may go up. Um, so if you want to hold on to them, see if the price goes up, you can try and do that too. But anyways, I'm going to cut out and now just start showing you big pulls from here on out. As you can there we go. There we go. 96. Not too far after we cut out. That's nice. That's our biggest pull so far. Need some big ultimate legends. Need some new GTs. Let's try and get something good, baby. There we go. There we go. Mike Vick. Give me Mike Vick, baby. Give me Mike Vick. Jeremy Chin. That's still pretty good. The only free safety golden ticket in the game right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, we want a new one, baby. We want a new one. Oh, there we go. 97. Not bad. 97. Nice pull. Some good training back. 96. William Perry. Okay. Almost back to back with that. That's not bad. 95, all right, 95, Phil Sims. Been a while since we had a big pull, so hopefully we go into a little bit of a window here, but take it. There we go, goodness gracious. I thought we were gonna go the whole rest of the 200,000 without, uh, without another big pull, but there's a 96. Not sure how we're gonna do um, towards the very end, so we're gonna have to add it all up, see what we get back, including coins and training, so we're going to run through this last 50K, see if we get any big pulls, and then we'll start adding it back up for you. Oh, there we go. There we go. 98 Aussie. Okay, totally take it. Very good. Let's see if we can't go back to back. Let's see if we can't go back to back. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give us a golden ticket. Give us a new golden ticket. No. All right. All right. Keep pulling. All right. We're going into our last two pulls here. Let's see if we can't get something big. Come on, baby. Golden Ticket Mike Vick. That's what I want. I want Golden Ticket Mike Vick. Not that. It's better than Uniform. Don't give me a Uniform. Don't give me a Uniform. Give me Golden Ticket Mike Vick. All right. All right. All right. Let's add it up and see what we got. All right. We got 515,000 training back, but that is not with the Golden Ticket. If we were to add in the Golden Ticket, we would get 615K back on uh, 700,000 training. So that's not bad, especially when we add in the um, the coins. Let's add in the coins and see where we, got, where we end up here. 260,000 coins. All right, so we got back out of 700,000 training, we got back 615,000 training plus 260,000 coins. We actually did pretty good. Um, and obviously that uh, golden ticket, we're going to actually sell for more coins. So we have uh, a profit for sure. Right now, training is about 1.5 to 1, uh, meaning you can pick up those rookie premieres for about 150K. I saw a little bit earlier today. The price may go up and down depending on when you're looking at this. But 
Um, we definitely profited based off this. So not a bad method um, to, if you wanted to quick sell your rookie premieres and roll it into this, you might be okay. Obviously results vary and it's gambling, right? So you could, you could totally lose. I've lost before. So take that into account. But if you want to have some fun, that's not a bad idea. But anyways, I hope this helped you out. If it did, please do like, subscribe, bring you more content like this in the future. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great day out there. Thanks.